I would like to share with you a new feature within the latest version of Spatial Analyzer, which is something that people don't generally think of as being a normal thing you would do in SA, but you can do a lot of really cool things with point clouds. So in this file, for example, I have a whole network of instruments that scanned the back of a building and a car. And the goal was to essentially build a mesh of that car. So if I hide those clouds and turn on the mesh, you can see what I mean. So this is something that you can easily do in SA. And the expansion that we did was to make it easier to network these clouds together. So as an example, what I've done is I have a separate cloud here measured from this extra instrument that is not yet located. So there's some extra data here which could be included in this mesh. So what I'm going to do is extract the spheres in order to align this new cloud with the, um, the network that already exists. To do that, I have to find the spheres, and we have an improved tool to do that. And if you notice, we have some spherical targets that were placed in the view of the scanner, which we want to detect. In order to do that, you can go under Clouds and Surfaces, and then under Points, there's a Auto Detect Sphere Centers. And if you just click on the cloud, it should bring up this dialog. And this may not be new to some of you. You may have been aware that we could search a cloud to define targets, uh, find spherical targets. But what we've added is an extended, um, improved, finalized search, which allows you to get better results. So just as a quick demonstration, let me just make that a few more points. We're looking for four, four, four inch diameter spheres, and I'll hit go. And it should search the cloud looking for spheres of that diameter, and there's a list of spheres. And let me just really quickly show you what we're trying to do. So with this new version, we're actually using this ASME standard E3125-17 sphere extraction tool, which essentially is a method for removing outliers, points that are um, of lower quality. And what we're doing is essentially creating an initial alignment using a detection method, which fit, simply fits a sphere to the data. And that's what we had before. But then we're coming back again, and we're looking at the line of sight of the instrument, the position and the angle of incidence um, of the instrument's shot line to the sphere, and using that to subsample the data and create a much better fit. So what we're able to do is just simply search a cloud and get some of the best fits you could ask for from that data. So it's a very convenient and easy way to extract spheres, which then can be used to align to your network.